Alrighty everyone, what is going on and welcome back to today's video. In today's video we're getting into another episode of the Operator Guides. We have six operators left to go and I've officially done every operator in the game. And um, yeah, so that's a pretty, pretty good achievement for me. I've been that consistent with these videos that I've nearly done every operator. Um, I'd say after we finish every operator, I might go back and do some people that have been heavily changed since I made their first videos. Like, my first guide was the Bandit Guide, which came out like a year ago. Um, and there's just a lot of operators that I've released videos for, such as Doc with ACOG, stuff like that, which just doesn't exist anymore. So I might redo them, switch up the thumbnail finally, and, um, yeah, do something a little bit different. We'll figure that out when we get to it, though, but for today's video, we're getting into Glaz. Um, as you all know, Glaz is the original sniper on this game. Obviously, Carly exists now, but he's the, um, he's the original sniper to be introduced into Rainbow Six Siege, and, um, he was, for a long time, the only operator with a sniper rifle. I think that's what it's classified as, is it, um... It's a semi-automatic long-range rifle. Okay, that's what it, it's a marksman's rifle, not a sniper rifle. I think Carly's is considered more a sniper rifle, but the closest we'll get to one is Glaz with the OTS-03. And um, yeah, with that said, if you do find this video enjoyable, make sure to smash that like button. Drop a sub notification bell if you're interested in more videos from me, and also make sure to come check out my Twitch streams. Links in the description down below. I'd love to see you guys there. And with that said, I think that's enough talking from me. Let's get into the video. So as always, we're going to start off with the weapon review, move on to the gadget utilization, and finish off with the operator strategies. So without further ado, let's get into the weapon review. Glaz obviously has access to one primary weapon, which is the OTS-03. This weapon does 71 damage a shot on a trigger finger fire rate. So this you can shoot this as fast as you want due to it being a marksman rifle. Um, depending on how fast you can press your trigger, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it... I'm not, I'm not 100%. I think it may have a little bit of a kickback, but I'm not too sure. I think in the majority of situations, you're good. I think you can spray this thing pretty fast. It, I think, actually, now that I think about it, I think there is a little bit of a um, a drawback after your shot, but it's very small, and it won't really affect your, your fire rate really at all. But I think, in the most part, this thing can be shot quite quickly. And um, putting out that 71 damage a shot at that fire rate is very efficient. And um, a, a, it is one of the, the easiest ways to output damage in this game due to it being such high damage on a decent fire rate. But the problem is, where where the problem comes in, obviously, is it is a marksman's rifle, which means accuracy is very important. And if you don't have that type of accuracy, you're going to miss a lot of your shots and you're going you're gonna to deal no damage. You don't have more room for flexibility with marksman's rifles as you do with assault rifles rifles because you're shooting less bullets um obviously with an ar you're shooting like a bullet every who knows if you're shooting like multiple bullets per second with this i'd say you're shooting maybe one bullet every one or two seconds so it's obviously in a lot slower fire rate as you guys i'm sure already are aware and um that is where it makes it more of a difficult weapon to use and why it is obviously not made for close range in real life situations but this is r6 no one gives a shit about how you're meant to play it and, um, <laughs> but 71 damage a shot with 10 bullets in the magazine, trigger finger fire rate. This weapon is pretty efficient. It just really depends on, um, your accuracy levels and how efficient you are with it. And if, if you just generally have fun using it, it really, it really just comes down to all of those factors, whether you'll probably shine or not with the OTS. In terms of his secondary weapons, he has access to the GSH-18 and the PMM. These are the standard Spetsnaz pistols. Really, either of them work. I think they both have their own, um, they both have their own specialties, obviously. The GSH is made for less damage, more ammo, so more room for error. And then the PMM is more damage, less ammo. So 61 damage on the PMM with 8 bullets in the magazine. The GSH has 44 damage with 18 bullets in the magazine. So as you can see, there's just different levels of power to these pistols. I personally prefer the PMM because I still think 8 bullets is enough for a secondary weapon. Even with Glaz, where you're probably going to use your secondary maybe a little bit more than someone else because you might need a closer range weapon. I still think 8 bullets is enough to do the job. If you are... Um, if you're, uh, at a level where you feel like you're confident enough to hit like one or two of those shots which should kill someone according to this damage count being 61 so uh, the PMM would probably be my personal preference but really in terms of general recommendation I think either could work it really just depends on what you're looking for as I usually say whether you want more room for error you want to take the GSH or you want high damage output you take the PMM 
In terms of his gadget, he has access to smokes and frag grenades. Now, frag grenades are usually something you would bring as a primary option because frag grenades are so useful. But due to Glaz's ability, which we'll get into soon, but essentially one of parts of his ability is the ability to see through smoke. You're all you're gonna always want to bring the smoke grenade when you're playing Glaz. It doesn't matter how powerful the frag grenades are. In Glaz's specific loadout, smoke grenades are 100 percent the play you need to bring them. And with that said, that's enough of the weapon review. Let's get into the gadget utilization, which is obviously the flip sight. This toggles a magnification scope with sophisticated sophisticated image sensors outlining long range marks even through smoke. So, in a in a more in a more descriptive description of that, um, essentially what it is is um, you press your interaction button on whatever device you're playing Siege on and you essentially go from having the standard scopes that you equip on your weapon on the GSH which is obviously the Spetsnaz Red Dot Holographic or Reflex depending on what you do and it puts on this flip sight on top of that which essentially just gives you a longer range scope and it also gives you the ability to um, highlight enemies but it is, has received a few changes throughout its uh, its lifetime. When Glaz first came out, you had the ability at all times to just magnify these people. But I believe the rule of thumb now is with Glaz is you have to be standing in a still position. And then you have the bars on either side of your scope fill up. And when they're filled up, that is when you are able to see um, the highlighted sensors of other players. But if that bar is not filled up, you're on the move, etc. You're moving aggressively, stuff like that. Um, this flip scope obviously is just going to be an uh, enlarged scope. It's not going to have any of these um, these outline yellow outline abilities that it has when the bar is fully filled up. Now, with that said, that brings me to my next point, which is if you are moving around efficiently with Glaz. Um, Say you're on the move, pushing to an objective, etc., something like that. The best tip I can give is to probably not use the flip sight because it's going to give you enhanced zoom for one, which is something you don't want while you're moving through areas because you might get into a close range battle from someone coming out of a random area. And um, also, yeah, the the main reason you would activate the flip sight is for this um, this zoom. And I feel like you don't really want to, you don't really need it in situations if you're not utilizing longer range play or smokes, which obviously you're probably not going to be doing if you're moving at a high speed, high enough for this gadget to not work. So I just recommend using the default sight when you're doing these abilities because it just gives you more accessibility in terms of fighting someone at a closer range and catching someone um, in a quick reaction more than you would if you had had the zoom on. But the zoom obviously still has its benefits as well. If you're playing any type of long range game with Glaz, the, the zoom is always going to help even if you're not staying in a still position. And if you are staying in a still position at a long range, this is where it's most effective. And obviously you can use it at close range, but I'd recommend you only pulling it out if you're using the cover of a smoke to clear a sight, etc. So you have um, a, a, a believable reason to get this out and not kind of like sacrifice um, losing gunfights because you have this zoom on that may put you off when you get into a closer range gun battle because obviously that's not what the weapon is made for or well it, the weapon can do that but it's not what the uh, the gadget is made for but in all terms of honesty I feel like if you just listen to those tips I just give I feel like you can utilize glass pretty well make sure to keep that scope off when you're moving around the map etc making um, slight adjust uh, quick adjustments stuff like that but when you're when you're kind of playing a more rangy game you're holding angles you're say sitting outside watching a window um, just just holding specific angles this is where Glaz's scope comes in best especially at a longer range but you can use it at a shorter range if you are staying in a still position and you and combining this with the smoke and having the ability to see through the smoke which not anyone no one else has the ability to do except for warden and let's be honest you don't really see him much on anyone's team anyway so in all honesty I'd say that's the best way to utilize Glaz and I think that sums up his gadget pretty efficiently and other than that, I think it's about time we moved on to the um, the operator strategies and finished up this video. So the operator strategies, obviously Glaz is a two speed, two armor. He has access to this powerful sniper. And um, I'd say, I really don't know what he fits into, honestly. He doesn't, he, his gadget is self-centered. It doesn't help anyone else except himself. But his weapons obviously aren't the greatest, which doesn't really make him a frag either. But he doesn't really provide any support to the team, so I think I think the best category he would fit into is a fragger. But 
the, the the potential behind the frag that he has access to due to his weapon loadout not really being the greatest isn't the greatest. Uh, yeah, I know I said that twice, but from what I've gathered, you can frag proficiently with Glaz. It just takes a fair bit of practice and time to get used to having to play against these alternative weapons such as SMG stuff the defenders have uh, with an OTS in your hand. But it is doable, it is manageable, and if you are proficient enough, you can probably be a pretty good fragger if you play Glaz. It just really depends on the time and effort you put into this character and how much dedication you really want to put into him to get this done. But other than that, I feel like he, he really doesn't fit the flex role at all because he's not providing any intel to the team and just nothing generally that fits the support role to f mix in with this fragger role other than like maybe he might be able to give calls with his longer range scope because he can see people that they can't. But if he can see them, I don't see why he wouldn't just kill them because obviously... He has that line of sight um, and that scope, and I'd say if you're if you're essentially just calling out rotations, etc. I think anyone can see that. You don't need a glass scope to see most of those rotations. And yeah, as I said, those long range kills that he could probably call out that you someone else wouldn't see. I don't see why you wouldn't just kill them in that situation anyway. So with that said, though, I think that's enough. Of, uh, I think that sums up Glass pretty well in my opinion. I think I did all right. And um, if you did find this video useful, make sure to smash the like button and let me know down below if you found the video useful. Also, let me know before you go if you found this video absolutely horrendous. And let me know some tips that you personally think I should have included. Or just tell me what I did wrong and what I missed. Stuff like that. I'd really appreciate it if you did do that, even if you didn't enjoy the video. But with that said, that's enough from me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to smash the like button, drop a sub notification bell. And also, make sure to come check out my Twitch streams if you're interested in more. I stream there all the time. It's just not really much Siege content content over there as I'm sure most of you guys are aware. But with that said, that's enough from me. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.